Well, hey there guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I have been going back and forth on what I actually wanted to talk about in this devotion. So I really just decided to go ahead and start talking. So if this is your first time on my channel, I just wanna welcome you and just say, hey, you know, I'm here to give you guys encouragement with diet, exercise, all kinds of fitness, but especially in your spiritual life. I just want to be here to encourage you. It's really, truly what I feel called to do. So today I am going to go a little off script and just talk to you about how my morning is going. Uh, and my morning is an off morning. Have you ever had one of those mornings to where you just feel like you're failing at everything? You're, my routine when I wake up at 4.30 in the morning is to do my devotion, spend time with God, and then I start my workout. And I love my workout time. I love my devotion time because it's my time. It's my time with God. It's my time with myself. And today it wasn't working. Uh, lots of distractions, lots of extra noise, lots of things just throwing it off. And I just stopped. I didn't stop working out. It was while well, I was working out. But in my head, I had to tell myself, don't be upset. God's going to do something great today. If this is the worst thing that happens to you today, that's fine. However, if I get thrown off in the morning, and I'm sure you're probably similar, or maybe you're just a much better person than me, and if you get thrown off in the morning, you're good to go. But for me, if I get thrown off in the morning, and I miss my quiet time, and I miss my time you know, to myself to work out, I get really thrown off. Uh, but I just felt God reminding me today that something's going to happen. He's got great things. And in this moment that I'm frustrated, don't let it pass by. Use it. So I started praying while I was working out and my heart rate was 175 beats per minute and I was exhausted. And I just felt like God was saying, you're going to encourage somebody today and I'm going to use you, but you have to let me. And so I just wanted to talk really quickly about something I found in my devotion the other day. It was in my Live Dead devotion book, and it was a thought about failing. And I have looked at failure differently in my life in the past couple years, just noticing that when we fail, as long as we're paying attention and we're saying, oh, I failed, we can learn from it and we can grow. So in this devotion, he was talking about how we are called to fail. We're called to fail. We're called to be crucified with Christ. And to do that, we have to fail because we will become self-righteous or pride will creep in or something's going to happen in that journey and we're going to fail. But what do we do with it? What do you do when you fail? Do you go, oh, I failed. I'm going to just go back into a hole and not even try. That's not what God's made you for. He's made you for more. When I look in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 16, towards the very end of Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians, it says this, May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope, encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. And I wrote, I really did, I'll show you. I wrote in the margin underneath that verse, we have eternal encouragement. So we should never dismay or be discouraged because we are eternally encouraged by Jesus himself. Jesus constantly encourages us forever by his grace. He sent his Holy Spirit when he left and the Holy Spirit prays for us. Jesus prays for us. If you want someone to pray for you, you think, oh, my pastor, they're going to pray for me. Or this person in my group, they're such a great prayer warrior. Jesus is praying for you. People are amazing at praying for you. And we need to band together and do that. But don't forget that if you feel lost, if you feel alone, if you feel like no one's there, Jesus is praying for you. And he loves you. And the Holy Spirit is praying for you. And God created you to do amazing things. I told you I'm going off script, so things are just going to happen. But really, truly, I feel like somebody needs to hear that today. When you fail, it's okay. Don't stay there. 
you're going to fail. If you want to be used by God, you have to fail. All those funny stories the pastors tell you about how they failed, but it taught them a lesson in life. That's because they've been called to fail and use their failures to encourage other people. I feel like I've been called to fail and use my failures to encourage other people and to get better. Because if I stay in my failures and I have the same one over and over and over and over, that's a problem. But if I truly don't care that I'm going to look bad when I fall and just understand that it's going to happen, but I'm going to try my best not to, but when it happens, I'm ready. And I'll say, yes, God, you can use me and my imperfectness and my failure. So today, if you feel like a failure or if you just feel like it's not working, I want to let you know Jesus is praying for you. I want to let you know the Holy Spirit is interceding for you in tongues that you can't understand. And that I'm praying for you. I might not know who you are, but I am truly praying, even as I talk right now, for all those who are watching for those who are hurting, for those who need love and encouragement. I just want to pray for you right now and just hopefully it touches your heart and hopefully this is just something that encourages you and brings you through your day. God, I just thank you so much for the opportunity to share, Lord, and the opportunity to fail so that others might come to know you might grow deeper in their walk with you. Lord, I pray that you would continue to allow me to be used. It is such an honor to be able to be used for you, God, and I will do anything I can. I will be a fool for you, God, because that's all I want is for people to know you because you are so beautiful and so wonderful. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for encouraging us. Thank you for sending your son to die for us. Thank you, Jesus, for praying for me. Thank you for praying for everybody watching. God, I pray that encouragement and hope in life would be in people's days as they go about them and they would share that with others because, God, you came so that we could have hope and life and we're not to keep that to ourselves. So let us succeed in using our failures for your glory. And we'll give you all the praise and the honor for all that you're going to do. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I really just want you guys to have a great day. I want you guys, even if it's a bad day, to have a great day because God's got plans for it. So if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because I truly want to encourage you as soon as possible.